Grant, the floors look great, but do you think we could get some doors in here? Uh, I, I guess we can make that the next project. We've actually been storing all the doors here in our bathroom, and maybe it is time we get some privacy when we go to the loo. Let's get to it. If you've been following along, you'll know that there actually used to be green carpet here, not hardwood. With that being said, all the doors are about an inch too short. So today, we're gonna fix that. So in order to fix this problem, we're measuring each of the door frames, and then we're gonna be measuring each door, and we'll add a piece of wood to the bottom of each door, making up that difference. We made sure to measure both the left and right side of each door frame because some of these were installed perfectly square. Then once we had all those measurements, we could calculate how much height we had to add to each door. Now that we have the piece attached to the bottom, we can go ahead and install it to see if it fits before doing all the other five doors. Let's go get the door. Let's see, I don't know if it's gonna close or not. Look at look at the floor gap. I know I heard it. Now we gotta take it off, paint it, and do all the other doors. Let's easy get to easy. It. I noticed a few of the hinge slots on the doors had a buildup of paint, so I went ahead and used my utility knife to clean those out before installing them. All right, all six doors are installed. This is one of the nicer ones where it really doesn't need any more fine tuning. It fits pretty well as is. A few of the doors need sanding in certain spots, so I use my notebook to take notes on which doors need sanding in which spots. We're now gonna take all six doors off the hinges, bring them back out to the garage, give them a nice sanding, add some Bondo, sand those particular areas, and then we're ready to start priming and then painting. Let's get to it. So we let all the Bondo set up on all the doors overnight, and now it's time to sand. All right, now that all the doors are sanded, there's a lot of dust on them, so we're gonna use some microfiber cloths with some water to wipe everything down, get all the dust off, and then we can start priming. So in order to prime and then paint the doors, it's gonna be a lot easier if we're able to stand them up vertically and paint both sides at the same time. So we're gonna try and make basically an accordion with all six doors. We're not exactly sure what we're gonna, how we're gonna do this, but we're gonna make it work. How, how stable is that? Is it gonna tip? Wow, that worked. Finding the right angle to position the doors is a little tough because you want to make sure you can get all the way into all the corners and crevices. I think this should be good, but we'll see. If we need to make adjustments, we always can. All right, let's prime. 
Given that we are spraying outside, we did have to contend with some bugs, but it wasn't too bad. And this sprayer was a great investment and made light work of all these doors, and I'll make sure to link this and all the other products that we use down in the description. Now that everything is primed, we're gonna go over it with some sanding blocks just to remove any of those nubs or raised grain, especially for the pieces of wood that we added at the bottom of each of the doors. Then we can start painting. We noticed when we were sanding that there's a few tannin showing through the wood. That's like that orange stuff that comes through the latex paint. So here I have a spray can of some oil-based primer that we're gonna spray over those parts. That way it doesn't come through the paint in the end. All right, so we are now ready to start spraying our paint, which is Urban Putty. And we're a bit concerned because we only had about two thirds of a gallon and it's July 4th today and Sherwin-Williams is closed. So we're really hoping we can get two coats with the two thirds of a gallon. We're gonna be really careful with overspray and yeah, let's get to it. All right, so we just finished spraying the paint. We went through two of these buckets to do the first coat and we only had one bucket left of paint to do the entire second coat. But luckily I was able to turn up the speed and pretty much get all the doors with a second coat. And here you can see just how much we have left. It's maybe one or two seconds worth of spraying. And now we have a thunderstorm incoming. We're trying to let these dry as long as they can and then we'll move them inside. And eventually we can put them in their places and get the hardware on. We let the doors set up overnight to make sure that the paint is fully cured. And now we can go ahead and install them. So that's a wrap on the interior doors. We are really happy with how they turned out. It's amazing how some paint and new hardware can completely transform the look of the doors. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, it'd be really appreciated if you could smash that like button and also subscribe if you wanna see more projects like this because we have a ton more in the works because we're gonna be completely renovating this house. Up next, we have the closet doors that we're also gonna be making some modifications to. So if you're interested in that one, stay tuned. We really struggled picking the hardware because we wanted something that both fit the look of the house but also was still a little bit more modern and we love the look of these knobs because of that round knob at the square plate. If you're interested in buying these yourself, I'll make sure to link them down in the description along with all of the other products that we used. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them. And as always, thanks for watching and happy building. See you next time. Grant, the floors are great, but I really... What? Did, what? One more like that and then we're done. Good job, Mom. Doing great. Great job, honey. If you've been following me along, now that we have all the measurements, we need to figure out what to cut all of our little boards to. Little boards? Little boards.